Today we're going to show you how to change the front felt on your dryer. It's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a putty knife, a number two Phillips or a number two square head screwdriver, and a wire brush. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, because we will be working near some electrical circuits, we will need to disconnect the power. So if your dryer has a cord on it, simply remove it from the socket. If it's a hardware dryer, we'll need to locate the fuses or breakers and disconnect the power at that point. Now next with a putty knife, we'll go in between the top panel and the front panel. About four inches in from either side, there's a spring clip. Just to press the clip and then lift up on the top. Then we can hinge that top upwards. And if you're close enough to a wall, you could just lean it up against the wall. But if you need to disconnect it, you can remove the ground strap from the back and then lift it off of the rear hinge. We can set that aside. Next, we need to disconnect the two wire harnesses on the right-hand side. And there are two screws, one on either side, just below the console. And you can either use a number two Phillips or a number two square head screwdriver to remove those two screws. Just grasp that whole front panel and console assembly and pull it forward at the top. That releases some spring clips along the sides. We can tilt it forward. Next, we'll just lift it off with two hooks on the bottom of the base frame. And then we can put that on a suitable work surface. Now that we have the front panel on a suitable work surface, we're going to take our putty knife. And we're going to start on one end of the felt. Get that putty knife in under the edge of the felt, start scraping it up. Once we've got the old felt off of there, we'll then use our wire brush to clean up the surface. Now, once we get to the end, just carefully peel that off without disturbing the lower felt. We can discard the old felt. With our wire brush, we'll clean up that surface, make sure it's got a nice, dry, flat surface to bond to. Now, before we apply any adhesive to this surface, we should put down a rag or some paper towel just to protect the components. We're going to put a, start with just a thin bead across the top of that. Very sticky glue. It's easy to get it everywhere. And just sparingly run a bead across the top edge. Once we've got that bead completely around the top edge, we'll work a little more of that glue in to make a broader surface for that felt to adhere to. And again, be careful that we don't put too much adhesive on it. We won't get any runs. Put a little extra at the ends to make sure we get good adhesion there. Now we'll let that set up for a minute or two until it gets good and tacky before we apply the felt. Now once the adhesive has become tacky, we can apply the felt. Start at one end, butt it up against the lower felt, and keeping it close to the rolled edge, pop it into place. and then just press it in firmly. To ensure that the felt absorbs that adhesive and gets good bond. Now we'll let that set up until it's firmly adhered to the felt and then we'll reinstall the front panel. Now to reinstall the front panel, We'll line up the two slotted holes on the bottom of that panel, with the two tabs that are located on the base frame. 
make sure they're seated all the way down. And we'll make sure we tuck the wire harness inside. Then we'll need to lift up slightly on the drum so that it clears the front felt and glide. Snap that into place and we'll replace the two screws. Next, we'll reconnect the wire harnesses. Now we're ready to put the main top back on. Slide it over the rear hinges. Reconnect the ground wire to the top. And lower it into position, and then just press down on either side until it engages those clips. We're ready to reconnect the power, and our repair is complete.